Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murray here. Uh, I just thought I'd film a quick vlog video for this week. Uh, we're going to start having story videos on YouTube again next week when we talk about Samson the Warrior. But this week, we're going to have a bit more of a low-key lesson. We're not going to be talking about a story from the Bible, but we're actually going to talk about something else really important for Christian life, and that is prayer. Now, some of you are probably thinking right now, Murray, how are you going to make an entire lesson just talking about prayer and praying? And others of you are probably saying, oh man, how is Murray going to fit the whole topic of prayer into just one lesson? To be honest, it's something that gets overlooked very often. When people decide they want to learn about God, usually they start by opening the Bible and reading it and seeing what it has to say. And after that, we sometimes like to listen to sermons or read papers and essays by ministers and theologians to hear what they have to say. But sometimes we can forget that God isn't just a thing we need to learn about in order to be Christians. It's important for us to develop a relationship with him because he created all of us and he wants to have a relationship with each of us. The Bible talks a lot about praying. The Bible says that we should pray when we're happy and when we're sad, and it should pray when we're thankful and even when we're angry. But if prayer is so important, like the Bible says, then that leads us to the next question. Why? Why should we pray so much? And when? When is it the best time to pray? Where should we pray? How should we pray for crying out loud? I mean, what are we supposed to say to God? When we pray, it's important to remember that everything comes from God. When we have good times, when we're happy, when things are going well for us, we can be thankful to God and we can pray and tell him we're thankful. And then we're giving that happiness back to him. And sometimes God challenges us in life. Sometimes things don't go so easy for us. Sometimes we feel very sad or frightened because of that, and sometimes we can just feel angry, especially when terrible things happen to us. And when that happens, we can also pray to God. We can ask God to help us get through the difficult times. No matter what you're feeling, you can go to God with it, and he'll celebrate with you during the good times and help you during the bad times. So now let's talk about our other questions. I mean, where can we pray to God and when can we pray to God? The truth is that we can do that anytime. When we go to church on Sunday, there are lots of prayers that we like to repeat. Some of them we repeat every Sunday. Some of them only get repeated during communion or during weddings and funerals. And that can make it seem like there's a specific time that we have to wait to to pray or there's a specific place we have to be at to pray. But that's actually not the case. We can pray anytime we want. A lot of people like to pray to God before bed, and they take that as a time to recap the day and process everything that's happened to them. And some people like to pray first thing in the morning, before their heads are filled up with thoughts about the day and things that they have to do. You can even pray spontaneously. If you're finding that you're having trouble with a test or with an assignment, or if you have to do a lot of homework, you can just quickly pray to God and ask him for help with it. You don't even need to pray with words. If you don't think that you can come up with the right words to do it, you can just think about God and think about how you're feeling and know that God is going to help you with whatever you're feeling, no matter what it is. This Sunday, we're going to talk about ways that we can pray with Karen Orr, our youth leader. She's got all sorts of awesome spiritual practices, which are ways that we can focus on God and keep our minds and our hearts still so that we remember to put everything that we have in our heads in front of him and he can help us with all of it. So Karen and I will see all of you this Sunday at 1130 on Zoom. Take care, everybody, and have a great rest of the week.